Hi everyone, I'm Roger, a Gadget Guy. There are two really good ways of connecting a TV to an audio system. One way is to use an HDMI cable like this one, and the other is to use an optical or Toslink cable like this one. The best one to use depends on your specific TV and audio system. This video guides you through step-by-step step the decision-making so that you can find the best method for your system before you go out and spend money on cables and adapters. I'm gonna use this chart as a visual aid as I go through each step so that you can find the right connection method for your system. If your TV and your soundbar or receiver have an HDMI socket labeled with the letters ARC, then using an HDMI cable really is the best way to connect the audio. And that's because the TV remote will automatically control your audio. So the volume control works, the mute works, and the on-off works. So you just pick up the remote, turn it on, and the whole system is just working. If you've decided that HDMI ARC is the right way to connect your audio system to your TV, then this video will take you through step-by-step step how to connect all the components and set up the system. I'll link to this video at the end and in the description. If your audio system doesn't have an HDMI ARC connector, then the next question to ask is, does it have its own remote control for the volume? And if it does, then it's best to use an optical connection between the TV and the audio. The reason for this is to avoid conflicts between the TV's remote control and the audio system remote control, which would confuse your friends and family. If your audio system does have an optical socket, then it's best to connect it directly between the TV and the audio system with an optical cable, and that will give you the best audio quality, and it's capable of Dolby Digital surround sound if your soundbar or receiver can handle it. If your audio system doesn't have an optical connector, then you can use an optical to RCA audio adapter like this one, sometimes called a DAC or digital analog converter. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to link any audio system to a TV using an optical connection, check out this video. I'll link to this video at the end and in the description. If your TV doesn't have an HDMI ARC connector, then often an optical connection is the only type of connection you can use for audio. Either directly from the TV to the audio system, or if the audio system doesn't have the connector, then you can use the optical to RCA audio adapter. Some TVs don't have an optical connector. Instead, they have a digital audio out connector that looks like a single RCA jack like this. It's often labeled coax or coaxial, and it's usually color-coded orange, unlike the red and white of the normal stereo audio pair. Works in exactly the same way as an optical connection, except you use a different cable. And there's nothing special about the cable that you need, virtually any RCA cable will do. And you can use one side of a stereo pair instead of a single, if that's all you have, and just leave the other side disconnected. Fortunately, most optical to RCA adapters like this one also have a coaxial input, so they can be connected directly to your TV with an RCA cable. Unfortunately, not every audio system that has an optical input also has a coaxial input. And this includes most soundbars. In that case, you're gonna need an adapter like this one that has an RCA coaxial input 
to connect to your TV and an optical output to connect to your audio system. If your audio system doesn't have its own remote control, but instead has the old school rotary volume control, then you can use an HDMI arc adapter like this one. And that lets you use the TV's remote control to control the volume so that you don't have to get up from your easy chair to turn the volume control knob. Following this chart won't necessarily give you the only options for connecting your TV up to your audio, but it will likely give you the most hassle-free options, especially if you have non-technically inclined people in your household. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you use any of the links in the description to buy products, it won't cost you any more, but it will help to support the channel and is really appreciated. That's all I had for today. Thanks so much for watching.